Sup guys, Brotom here, and today we're gonna learn how to make a thumbnail. Uh, for this t video tutorial, I'm gonna use GIMP. GIMP is like uh, the free version of Photoshop. It actually has exactly the same features. Um, I actually found out that with, with GIMP you can use uh, or save or export, however you want to call it, uh, GIMP files, so that's an XCF file. You can convert them into a PSD, so Photoshop users can actually use the same stuff. It keeps the layers and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, we're going to learn how to make a thumbnail, which is pretty easy, actually. All we're going to do is go to File. I'm sorry that this thing is in Dutch, but that's what the preference uh, installation thingy is. So, File, New. Okay. Now we're going to adjust the size because YouTube wants two specific sizes that's either 1920 times 1080 which is uh, 1080p resolution or which what I am gonna use and which I always use is 1280 times 720 alright so if you press OK then it should create a new canvas with one layer in it it's called background and it's white usually so what you want to do is delete this layer okay so that's a completely empty workspace we got here. Now, create a new layer. Uh, we're gonna call this uh, background. And we're gonna choose it to be uh, transparent. Click OK, this is gonna be the base for our thumbnail. Uh, now we're gonna search for some images on the web. Okay, so I found this picture on the web and I'm gonna use it actually. Uh, yeah, so this is the picture we're going to use. We're going to right-click it, copy it, and then paste it directly using Ctrl-V into GIMP. Right-click it, transport it into a new layer, and then we can get rid of Chrome. Alright, so what you notice is um, this thing is pretty bright, the picture. I'm just going to delete that layer. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to get the uh, bucket out, decrease the coverage to about uh, 15%. The color is set to black. Now if I click it, the image will get darker. So that means I can actually add some text now and it'll be visible. If you want to add text, just use this thing. Drag a uh, rectangle and type your text in. example Gmod for the compilation. Uh, what I always uh, advise to people that use um, thumbnails a lot is that you use your own font. Just, just get your own com custom font. It's a, a little more personal than it is to just use Comic Sans every fucking time. So yeah, uh, we got the text. I increased the size to, well, I can just increase it to 150, I guess. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm going to select all of the text using Control A, click the color, and make it white. Alright. So I can just center this over here. I can increase the size. And now I can select the text, not necessary, and center it. There we go. Now all we need is the Gmod logo, which I should have in my own pictures. There we go. There it is, the Gary's Mod logo. Just put it in somewhere, like here. And then actually, you're done. This is a very basic thumbnail. Um, if you want to know more, just just let me know. It's uh, it should be uh, yeah. Th this should be all you know. Just fiddle around with GIMP, and uh, you'll get the hang of it in no time. All right. Thanks for watching, Rotom. Out.